So the simple registration number, uh, for those of you who aren't registered, I'm extremely pleased to see that um, so many have registered. But if, if for some reason you haven't, uh, uh, my, my advice is to do it as soon as possible because, as Janet said, um, uh, time is of the essence. Uh, you know, there's, uh, uh, we, we have to get these venues built by 2011, and there's a lot of work going on there now, and we need uh, good suppliers. Um, so you go to london2012.com uh, uh, or to straight into Compete4, which is www.compete4.com. Uh, you create an account, and there are three things that you must have if you want to do business with the Olympic authorities. You must have a health and safety policy, you must have an equality uh, or diversity policy, and you must have a quality management statement. Now, don't worry if you haven't got those or uh, if you feel that your uh, health and safety policy may not be acceptable for some reason, you can confirm that with Think London or through UKTI, and they will um, uh, give you advice on uh, how to make sure those uh, uh, policies meet with the requirements of the Olympic authorities. Once you've done that, um, you can uh, start applying for opportunities. I'm going to whip through the, uh, uh, the screenshots of what you will see when you come to Compete For so you can get an idea. I'm going to pass through these quite quickly because um, I'm sure that you'll have the opportunity uh, to go in, 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 on yourself, in for yourself uh, if you want to after the webinar, but also obviously a, number, a large number of you are already registered, so I don't want to waste your time. Uh, so basically, you come into the welcome screen. Uh, you build your business profile, which is very easy. You just answer your, you know, put in your contact details, your name and address, telephone number. Um, you sign some uh, uh, um, terms and conditions. Uh, and uh, then we want you to identify business categories. And the reason why we want you to identify business categories is because uh, the system will automatically match you with opportunities uh, which may be appropriate for your business. The business categories, uh, if you click on that, uh, it will show you uh, there's over 2,000 business categories, and you can select up to 10 uh, to um, describe your business. Uh, then we want things like your turnover, the number of staff you employ, uh, and then going on to uh, things like insurance uh, policies, your health and safety policies, which I've mentioned already, um, and uh, how long you've been in business for, some financial details, such as uh, a company registration number or if you're a subsidiary of your parent company, um, what the largest size of contract that you might have fulfilled, um, uh, VAT number, don't worry if you haven't got a VAT number. Uh, um, and basically what we want you to do is to answer all those questions and build a business profile. Now on your screen now is a great example of a good business profile. Uh, it's got a description of the organization so everyone can see. It's got what their core capability is, and it's also got three pictures which you can upload. So um, that's the kind of profile that you should have on the system. Uh, and if you haven't got that, if you haven't uploaded pictures or if you haven't fully completed your business profile, uh, you will see the next time you log in, there will be a yellow a box over the top of your, uh, uh, your registration page, and you will see that you haven't completed your business profile. Many businesses think they have, uh, but they, they, they may not have. So um, by doing this, and by showing these pictures of your business, uh, it means that other people can see your business and get in contact with you if they want to partner with you, which is very important. And also it allows a lot of buyers to search through the database of all the businesses that are on there. Uh, we've got over 80, uh, 85,000 businesses registered on the system now, and many of those businesses are very keen to partner uh, with overseas businesses. So it's something that you can always go in to compete for and search for potential partners if you want to. Um, once you've registered, very easy for you to uh, a search for opportunities. You just go into the opportunity search area. Um, and uh, it, it, this will bring up all the uh, uh, opportunities that are open. You look down the list, you double click on any of those, and it will expand it into uh, more details of the opportunity, and it's very easy to respond. You just click on that respond button, which is down there on the left, uh, and if you want to just look at the questions that the, the buyer has asked, you can do just click on the respond button. Don't worry, it won't send your your uh, uh, your information anywhere. 
you just look at the, uh, uh, the the questions. If you can answer the questions, that's fine. If you can't answer the questions, you can close it down again and go back to it later. So uh, the total time it takes you to respond to any opportunity on Compete For should be no more than 15 minutes. So it's a very, very easy tool to use. Now, this is a, a list, really, of the, of the kind of uh, contracts that have been uh, awarded. Um, uh, climate change uh, website, um, a bridge bearings went to Fresinet France, um, a design for temporary uh, venues uh, went, went to HOK Sport in Denver, um, equipment repair went to Infinity Technologies in Australia, um, a specialist welders was supplied by MJ Hughes of Oregon, IT management of, uh, again, uh, Infinity Technologies in Australia, fencing uh, from the Republic of Ireland, um, and waste management uh, uh, and recycling uh, from Viola, which is uh, um, uh, a French company. So you can see there are uh, international businesses that are winning contracts through Compete For, so don't be put off if you haven't won them already. The current opportunities on the system now, lots and lots of opportunities which you go in and find, um, things like transcription services, rocker switches, uh, Olympic news service, um, uh, fire extinguishers, internal and external signage, steel doors, glass and timber doors, uh, metal work, plumbing, um, heavy, heavy plant battery replacements. Uh, and there's two opportunities I particularly draw your attention to because these are very interesting for international companies. They're licenses for the supply of branded luggage and licenses for the um, supply of picnic sets and uh, uh, water drinking bottles and such like. Now these licenses are only available for a very short period of time. There are probably only about three or four days left to apply for these licenses. So you need to get in there very quickly. They won't come in again once these uh, opportunities are closed. That's it for 2012. So if any of you are in those businesses, you need to go into the system now. So that's it really. Um, uh, I'm sure that uh, we'll be able to answer any of the questions you might have, uh, but I, uh, I genuinely feel that there's lots of opportunities for uh, um, overseas businesses, and I'm sure Think London will, will help you with that.